Hello and welcome to another 5-Minute Tech Tip with Dave Casuto here at SF Tech Training. This video I'm going to show you is a part 2 of another video I worked with this photo where we're just kind of doing some touch-ups. If you can see here is my before and here's my after. So we just did a few things getting rid of some you know freckles and laugh lines and pock marks and things like that. We also whitened up the teeth a little bit so you can watch my previous video on that. I'm going to show you in this one is how we can work with um, adjustment layers to adjust the lighting a little bit, have a little more texture and crispness to this. So your adjustment layers live inside this little black and white cookie. There's a lot of different options you can have here. And I'm going to go over here and go to levels. Okay, And what levels implies is that there is a highlight level, there's a mid-tone level, and there's a shadow level. And by doing this instead of like exposure, right, rather than going to exposure, you go to levels that allows you to isolate which quote unquote level you want to work with, right, which you want to kind of isolate. So if you work with shadows, it's not going to affect the midtones and the highlights and the same for the rest of these. So I'm going to click on this and this pops up, this looks a little histogram here. And you can see here's my highlights, my midtones and my shadows. So I can just start playing around with these, like what needs to be affected here. So I'm going to start with my midtones, and I'm just going to click and drag to the right. And you'll notice what that does. It makes all the midtones a little bit darker or the midtones a little bit lighter. So you can see it's not going to affect any of the shadows. It's not going to affect any of the highlights, right? So if you look at the white of her teeth, they're not really getting affected. All right, so I'm just going to make that a little bit darker. I'm going to come over to here, and I'm going to make the highlights a little brighter. So you see that? So I'm, I'm, I'm actually creating a little bit of contrast here by doing that. So let me come back to my layers panel. And let me see a before and after. So you can see that adds on so much more texture to her, right? Just by doing that little change there, it's like everything gets a little more, like the edges get sharper, if you will. Okay, so you can see how this really, really makes a difference. And now that I'm actually seeing a little bit more kind of definition here maybe I do want to come back to my spot healing brush okay and you also notice how I lighten up her eyes a little bit I what I did the first time in this last video is I work with the dodge tool so you can see there's really a lot you can do and if I ever want to come back to this all I have to do is just simply double click here and it takes me back to the properties and I can play around with these maybe I'll just try the shadows and just see what happens with her shadows probably not anything I need to do that makes it a little bit too dark I still want to see some color and everything in her face. Now, part two of working with these adjustment layers is understanding masks. And this is very important just in terms of your Photoshop knowledge um, to be able to give you a lot of creative control over what you apply here and just understanding conceptually and practically what a mask is. So you will notice I have this white box here. And this is basically saying, hey, everything that's underneath here, right, in this layer, should have this adjustment layer of the levels. So now what if I don't want part of this to have all of those effects, right? Maybe there's certain parts I really want it to shine. I want the original to be there. Maybe like her shirt or something like that. It looks unnatural or whatever. It's really about control. So understand this is white and masks are about black or white. So I know it seems a little bit weird, but I'm gonna be painting black on top of this okay so i'm going to go over here to my paintbrush to my brush tool and i'm going to switch this from black to from white to black and you're going to see what i'm able to do now i'm just going to basically paint through this so therefore i'm just removing the levels okay so i'm just going to do it right on her shirt here okay, and you can see i'm making her shirt come in a little bit darker see the levels are no longer affected by that maybe i'll just do like under her neck a little bit Okay, maybe not exactly what you want, but I want you to see the process. Maybe I can do this for this grass in the back. Okay, so it kind of really makes her stand out. Okay, maybe even her hair a tiny bit. Trying to really trying to make her face sort of come through into the fore. All right, and you'll see what I've done here. Okay, I've just made it so, hey, listen, poke through this little black to show the original, and all the white is going to show the levels. All right, I'm gonna, I've done a few videos on, on uh, masking with adjustment layers and also some just basic masking, which is really powerful. Um, and you can do this with filtering. You can do it with just basic masking. You can do it with adjustment layers. 
Um, so many, so many different alternatives and uh, features and value you can add just by masking. So look out for my future videos on that. All right. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Definitely experiment and uh, feel free to reach out to me on my YouTube channel uh, through my website, sftechtraining.com and um, LinkedIn and all that good stuff. And I hope to see you in the next video.